Dutch Dutton Runner Space NC Division One Indoor Championships. If anybody forgot how Matthew Bowling rises to the occasion at an NCAA championship, he showed Albuquerque and the rest of the world uh, today 20.12. Uh, came back, awesome performance in the, uh, in the 4x4. A super competitive battle as, yeah, as usual with you guys in, in Arkansas and, uh, and the rest of the group. What, what does this mean? Because you've just stayed, you know, head down, nose down, like, you know, just continue to grind and whatnot, but to be back in that place that is very familiar to you, to you how powerful is that? Uh, it's a good feeling. I mean, all glory to God. Um, I just focused on running my best race and glorifying Him, um, and I happened to cross the line in first place, and um, it was a good feeling to see all my, all my uh, closest friends show out today, too. Speak, uh, speaking of, I mean, like we talked about being a dog, right? Like, you know, what D A W G, yeah. you know, I mean, like just what did it require, you know, from Elijah, you know, from and from the whole group, you know, and then even with the women, you know, with yeah. Kayla and, you know, and Autumn and, you know, obviously Kyle and mm -hmm. Johannes. And so what did it, what did it require to see what we saw today? Yeah, I mean, Kyle set the tone. Uh, he went out since yesterday and um, PR'd in nearly everything. Um, and then it was great to see the two freshman women uh, put on a show. I train with them every day. We do the same stuff. So um, coach came up to me and was like, you trust it? You trust it? You do the same stuff as them? And I was like, yeah, I trust it. Uh, I'm ready to run fast. So um, I think all of us being able to run our best helped us to lean on each other um, and all trust our training and trust the process together. In the past, obviously, like you wanted to, to really test your limits and test your potential. And it was 60 or it was long jump. It was you know, two and certainly the four by four. Do you feel like it's just being able to really dial in you know and, and just really really you know emphasize you know what really needs to be emphasized as has been you know not to say that you, you can't ever go back to those but yeah. just like really compartmentalizing has that been good for you yeah this indoor season the goal was to uh take it light not do uh three or four events every meet um so it was definitely different because since my really since i started track i've been a do every event type of guy um, so just trusting the process and trusting coach um, that it'll come together at the right time was what I really um, emphasized this indoor season um, and it paid off uh, we got the best coach in the world on our team best coaching staff in general um, you saw Kyle do his thing too um, and all our other athletes so um, being able to have have that support staff all around from coaches to trainers um, they get they they don't have the spotlight on them too much either but they get us ready um, oh I see day. them behind this you know yeah, I see them on the behind table the scenes but yeah. we got the best training staff in the nation yeah um, mental health performance everybody it takes a village and um, uh, being able to all come together and just celebrate and um, compete at our best level was was very special to be a part of. Well, and let's not forget the best locker room in the, in, in best the nation locker as well. room too. Yeah, I, I love going in the locker room. We just we got a big flat screen TV, just watching Netflix in there with my my friends. Matthew, uh, tremendous effort, man. Uh, so glad to see you back on top of the world, uh, 20.12, uh, 20 uh, in an incredibly deep year uh, yeah. in, in the men's 200, and then uh, back it up, All-America performance again in the 4x4, Georgia's second place today. Well done. Thank you.